Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a book review of Learning to Paint from Strathmore, Watercolour Flowers by Kelly Eddington. I previously reviewed her other book from Strathmore, Watercolour Basics. I will leave a link to that video up above. As I'm going to be looking at a flower book, I thought I'd show you some of my own botanical illustrations. The style that I paint in normally is quite different to the ones featured in this book. I paint in a style called botanical illustration. The ones featured in this book are more looser and more focused on light and shadow to get the image across of what you're trying to paint. So this is the book. So it's from Strathmore. It has quite a lot of projects in it and it also contains paper from Strathmore for you to use. These are all the flowers included in the book that you can learn to paint. I'm going to be painting one of them today in this video as a painting demonstration so that I can review the book. As with the last book there is a materials page going over the colours that Kelly uses and some basic materials that are recommended for painting. So I'm going to show a page from the tutorial now just to show you how a tutorial is set out in this book. So it's set out with the reference image and the image that Kelly has painted on, in the book. And then it has it broken down into lots of different steps and sections so you can follow it step by step. Along with pictures, there's also a description underneath of what's going on in the image above. I'm not going to show you any more as this is a copyrighted book. And if you are looking to get more from this book, I would recommend buying it. The book also comes with a link and password to the Strathmore website where you can get video lessons that go along with each project online too, which can also be helpful seeing the painting being completed in time on a video. So I am doing the pansy tutorial. I'm not sure why I chose this one at the time. I think it just seemed kind of fun to do. You can, of course, find online with the links a downloadable sketch to transfer your image over. Or you can do what I've done and just draw the image freehand on the paper. paper provided needs to be cut out from the book. It's not perforated for an easy test. You just have to cut it out with a craft knife. This can be a little bit tricky, but once you've done it, it's fine. The paper itself is actually hot pressed watercolor paper. And it's Strathmore. It's a student grade paper made of cellulose. The paper itself is quite large. It's a little bit bigger than a full size. So you've got plenty of room there to do a painting. During the first review of the first book, one of the issues I had was the paper. Because it is student grade paper, it can struggle with layers and the way it handles. If you can afford it and you're not a beginner in watercolour, I would recommend looking at getting some slightly better paper. This paper is fine for beginners, but it does have a kind of quality to it that parts of me hates, but also parts of me quite likes. The paint lifts quite well off of this paper which is really helpful for some of the techniques that Kelly goes over, such as blurring edges and lifting paint. However, when you're wanting to put lots of layers down, the 
paper doesn't handle those too well. So it is kind of a love-hate relationship. But the paper itself, I was finding I had a better time with it this time around than I did the first time. So just like the first book, the tutorials were quite easy and straightforward to follow and I really appreciated having the video lessons there to, to help going alongside it. Kelly has done a really great job with this book and her personality does show and come through in all the instructions and she is really good at breaking things down and making things simple and easy for you to learn and to understand. Those who have never picked up a brush or paints before will have no problem with this book. It's all really easy and straightforward, there's nothing too complicated. There are even some exercises at the beginning of the book if you are brand new to painting that she recommends you try just to get a feel for the paints and how they behave. And if you are really struggling with that, she does also have that other book, Watercolour Basics, which go over a few more exercises as well. I think comparing the exercises from the Watercolour Basics to the Watercolour Flowers book, I definitely prefer the ones in the Watercolour Flowers. I feel like there's more colour mixing going on there, it's more fun, there's more bright colours, and flowers themselves are quite a forgiving subject to paint. If you paint something wonky or a little bit different, you can usually get away with it. If you don't know who Kelly Eddington is, who is the author of this book, I would recommend go checking her out, I will leave links down to her YouTube channel and Instagram pages down in the description bar. I really enjoy Kelly's paintings and while she does do looser, sketchier paintings like this one, a lot of her portfolio work is extremely tight and very well detailed. There are some of them that I can't actually even believe are watercolour paintings. I've been a fan of Kelly's for a little while now, a few years and I always enjoy her content, what she puts out, and all of her paintings. She has some really great tips and helpful info over on her YouTube channel. So this painting took a couple of hours to do. It's quite large to do, and there are a few kind of fiddly bits. I did really take my time in getting everything how I want it and happy between the tutorial and my own kind of artistic flair. Strangely enough, I actually enjoyed painting the bank background more than what I did the actual flower. The background was strangely enjoyable to paint, painting kind of random green shapes was kind of fun. And too, I think by that point, I was getting used to how the paper behaved, so I was kind of better suited and better practiced with the paper to get better results. Taking your time with this book is also going to be really helpful. If you take, rush it, you're going to potentially spoil the painting and feel discouraged. Taking your time means that you'll find the process much more enjoyable and you'll get more satisfying results. Tutorial books like this are kind of an odd thing. People either really love them and they work really well for some people, but some people really dislike them and they really struggle with them. 
It depends on how you as an individual learns. I've tried a few tutorials out there, not just from Kelly, but other artists. Some are really good and I find success with, some I don't. It kind of depends on their painting style and what they're advising to do. I was going to paint a second image to go along with this one, but as this one took quite a lot of time, I didn't get around to doing a second one. But I will definitely continue with this book and try and paint more flowers from it. I will probably post this on Instagram too and any future ones, so make sure you go check out on Instagram too. There will also be a free blog post over on my Patreon page featuring this painting and talking about the book and my thoughts on it, just on a written form so that you can read at your own pace. So the painting is now done, I'm just going to take it off the board and I will compare it to the one that is in the book. So let's bring that book back in so I can compare it to Kelly's painting and the reference photo. And you can see they're quite comparable, so it shows how successful this book is and how good this book is at helping people paint. I did deviate a little bit when it came to the background as some shapes in both the reference photo and in Kelly's painting were a bit difficult to make out so I kind of just did what I felt was right and I was quite happy with the results. I really enjoyed painting this and I've been really enjoying this book. I've been finding it quite helpful and it's definitely a good book if you find tutorials like this helpful. leave links down below if you wish to check out this book but I have really enjoyed it and can really recommend it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like and please consider subscribing too if you'd like to see some more. So thank you so much everybody and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone and bye bye.